I'm Anil Kumar and here is a thinking question on exploring polynomial functions, advanced functions, grade 12. Consider an odd function f of x equals to ax to the power of 5 minus bx square. Determine the value of the coefficients a and b if its fifth finite difference is 60. Think about it, answer the question, pause the video and then look into my suggestions. Take it as, as a test problem, right? It is sometimes also a bonus question. Now here, odd function, right? When will this function be odd? This function has two terms. One is x to the power of 5. The other one is x square. x squared. You see that. We are saying odd function. So if f of x is an odd function, then what? What is the value of b? Then the term x square should not be there. Right? f of x is an odd function. Therefore, b should be equal to 0. That is kind of very important. If b has any other value, then this function will not be an odd function, right? Do you get it? So f of minus x will not be minus of fx. You remember what is odd function. Odd function means f of minus x equals to minus of fx. So if b is not 0, then this will not be an odd function. This is kind of very important to recollect, right? You learned it before and you'd apply it now. Now the second part is, now it's a degree 5, therefore the fifth finite difference will be constant, right? Now you are given fifth finite difference is 60. What is A, right? That is to say that we have to find or we should know the relation between A, the leading coefficient, and the finite difference. Do you know? It is finite difference over degree factorial. So it is fifth finite difference so will be over 5 factorial. Do you understand? What is the meaning of factorial? Fifth finite difference is given to us as 60. So it is 60 over 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. That gives us the answer. Do you get it? That is how we should be doing, right? So 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. So 60 goes, right? You're left with 1 over 2, right? So therefore, you get the value of A, right? So we have our answer. The answer is B is equals to 0 and A equals to half. So remember this is a very good formula to remember. A n, the leading coefficient, is whatever finite nth finite difference over n factorial, right? So that is the formula to remember. Now the book which you follow does not have this formula. So make a note of this, but this question can be there in your test problem. I hope and wish that you get it correct. Thank you and all the best.